Hi guys, welcome back. So next part we're going to look at PHD2. Uh, this is the first window that pops up whenever you first open the program. So I'm going to pick my guide camera, which is the KY5L2 mono. Uh, the guide camera pixel size, and you should be able to look this up for your camera. Mine is 3.75 microns, and my ST80 is 400 mil long. My mount is the NEQ6, and I don't have any adaptive optics. So a profile name, and this comes into play whenever you start using Sequence Generator Pro. We will hit finish, and it is connected. So it's not able to connect to my mount as my mount's not plugged in, so that's fine. So we'll go down to a half second and up to six. Uh, five frames is fine, and we will hit start. So I have covered mine. It's got a towel over the top of it just to make sure it's definitely dark. And this will start taking the frames, so I will pause the video until this is finished. Okay, so my dark library is just finishing up, just a couple more six second frames to go. So this is the last one. Once this is done, we can move on with some of the settings. And I'm just going to copy my settings across from my previous system. Uh, I don't expect anything to be different. So now that that's up, we will click this brain icon. This takes us into the global settings, so I have nothing to adjust on the first page, as everything is fine. So when I move to the second page, the first thing I would adjust for me is to boost the target signal to noise. So I, I like to keep a higher signal to noise to allow me a little bit of margin if any bad weather comes in. I'll drop the minimum exposure to half a second. And I, I like to have a wee bit of extra time should anything go wrong with the connection between my camera and my mount especially whenever you're dithering or in between shots in SG Pro search region is fine the tolerance I had 80 previously uh, focal length is fine uh, calibration step I generally use 3000 to try and get a good calibration I don't calibrate every time I just do it once and I restore that calibration from night to night, I am fitted on a pier, so it's not as big an issue. I don't get as much variance. Hysteresis, uh, aggressiveness, I'm quite aggressive on the right ascension. Uh, minimum movement for me is 0.15. It's also the same for deck. Uh, these can be worked out from your guiding system, which I will show in another video. It will help populate or at least give you suggestions for these. So these settings come directly from my previous setup. Again, the guiding assistant will help you fill all these out for your specific system. So I believe that is everything. So I'll just check what time we're like. Three minutes is fine. So that we're connected to everything. I'll begin looping and you should see this will turn white. So essentially this is a covered scope with no light and it's just boosting the gain across the entire sensor trying to find something. So that shows me that my camera is working and you can see it move, so it's not just a static image. Well, thanks for listening, guys.